Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around February 9th, right? That would be the Leo full moon. But, you know, the timing is fluid, so this reading could be at any time in the near future. We're going to start right here and get an overall energy. So what I heard before I started this, what I saw, what I saw was uh, control your anger or you will be sorry. I feel as though we have a emperor or somebody that is very masculine that is about ready to make a move. Okay. He's thinking very hard about what his next move is going to be. He is about to make a move. Now you got to think about an emperor. You think about Saturn. Saturn is the boss, right? And the emperor is the boss. And it is the birth of Saturn right now. And Saturn is, is typically, it's an old energy. And the emperor is an older energy. Because to become the emperor, it takes a lot of wisdom, life experience. So... Looks like the boss is about to make a move. So, whatever is going to happen is meant to happen. This is destiny. This is the wheel of fortune. This is, this is karma. This is a cycle. This is positive change. This is the wheel of life, constant mo motion. Being in the right place at the right time. everything changes something is coming full circle perhaps it's karma but whatever it is it's there's a destined change of course that is positive okay new cycle is beginning one cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning Oh, yeah, we were going to get a couple of these. <laughs> Not that many. We'll take those. There we go. That looks good. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. Somebody is in need of help. Looks like help is about to arrive. Okay. Dolphin, financial gain, usually, usually coming from something you did in the past. Something coming full circle. So this is good luck. This is good fortune. So something good is coming. And it does have to do with your past. So something is coming around. Okay. It's finally coming around. This is positive. This is going to help you out. And it's funny. I just, you see the M? Interesting. Maybe it has something to do with the letter letter M. Maybe the, the name begins with the letter M. I don't know. Just happened to point that out. Um, anyway, somebody is, is coming around to offer their assistance and their guidance. Interesting. You know what I just heard? I don't know. I just heard mom. Is it mom? I don't know. A mom. I don't know. It doesn't have to be a mom. Um, cycle. A cycle is about to end and a new cycle is about to begin. The moon reversed. This is the this is seeing the light. This is the shadow is being removed. The light is being shown on a situation. The truths are being revealed. This is a reality check. Hmm. I'm not sure if we're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, but we could be. So this is something that is being shown. Hmm. Right around that full moon. Is isn't that interesting? Because that's the first card out for this deck is the moon reverse. Something is about to be revealed that has been below the surface. 
whatever is going to be revealed is positive, okay? It may be scary, it may be fearful because it's a change, but it's good, okay? It's positive change. It is positive change. The Empress, the Empress, Ooh, the Empress is unconditional love. This is all about love. It is all about love. The Empress is all about love. Could be dealing with the Taurus, could be dealing with a Libra. Doesn't have to be, but the Empress is the giver of life. She is unconditional love. Your domestic goddess, your mother. This may have something to do with your mother. Uh, it's something to do with a mother because of that mom that I heard. I see the M and the Empress is a mother. So something about a mother. Um, the Empress is, gives love. She is love. That's what she is. Very beautiful, very sensual, very sexual. She demonstrates love and abundance in her touch. She's got a beautiful, soft touch. She does everything with love. So this is all about love. This is definitely all about love. King of Cups reversed. You know, somebody did not give their heart. They did not open their heart or they did not follow their heart. Now, this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. This is somebody that was emotionally unavailable, cold and withdrawn, did not have good intentions, uh, may have used emotional blackmail as a tool, um, wasn't ready to open their heart. They were hiding their feelings, fearful, fearful of love, fearful of falling in love. This person is so beautiful and generous. You know, maybe they were scared of this person. Interesting. This person over here, this King of Cups in reverse, is an individual who doesn't know how to love or just cannot reciprocate for some reason. Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio by looks of things with this moon card, but it doesn't have to be. Um, can't master their emotions, may have some addictions that get in the way, you know, buries their feelings in addictions, numbs themselves, makes themselves numb. This person is so loving, interesting. Might be a little, and the moon can symbolize fear. Five of pentacles reversed, and the five, that's, that's, uh, Five of Pentacles reversed, that is unhealthy relationship, a major loss. Somebody has suffered a major loss. It looks like we have a masculine here. It doesn't have to be a masculine. It could be a feminine. That has suffered a major loss. They couldn't see that they were getting the love. They weren't they couldn't see it. They couldn't because there was a shadow. They couldn't see something clearly. They couldn't see the, the love. Interesting. But we have that we have, this is the page of pentacles. This is coming forward, maybe finding the integrity to do the right thing. Somebody may be stepping forward with an apology. They may be stepping forward with an apology because, you know, they didn't know what love was. And, you know, this is karma. This, the Wheel of Fortune is karma. And we do have something to do with the past here. Something you did in the past. So it's like somebody from, and this is a golden opportunity. It's like somebody may be coming with an apology or a gift or repaying a favor or somebody from, yeah, there's somebody from the past that is probably feeling guilty. They are. They're feeling guilty. They're feeling guilty for, for something. Interesting. Somebody is feeling guilty. Hmm. Now this is, this is starting finding this is starting over this is like finding the ability to do the right thing even though it's not easy you know it's look on this person's face it's like i really don't want to do this but i guess i have to you know so it's like somebody is like i guess i got to or i need to you know but this it's very emotional this is definitely an emotional time Somebody may be feeling disgraced. I mean, this is the Five of Pentacles reversed as a turning point. Where this is where somebody finds that backbone to do the right thing. You know, it takes somebody with a lot of integrity to apologize. Only people with the utmost integrity can. This guy, this King of Cups in the reverse, has not been able to communicate 
has been emotionally withdrawn fear fearful of this person i mean this person the empress is the queen of all queens everybody knows it it's easy to see eight of pentacles reversed next to her this queen of all queens has given up she not she not putting in any effort at all she's good she's beautiful she's dealt with her pain she's delivered her pain it feels like she she has people that are bowing down to her now she does she has people that are bowing down to her she doesn't have to do anything because she's just beautiful she's just ease she's at ease she's she's unconditional love she's just All I can say is that she's unconditional love. That's what she is. She's abundant. She deals with things. She doesn't need anybody. She's valuable. She has people like begging her for attention. She's not putting in any effort to... She doesn't even have to work for it. She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to work for it because it comes natural. She's a natural. She's, I mean, her love is just natural. So, hmm. This person has gotten a reality check. There's that's the reality check right here. The moon reversed is the shadow has gone away. People are so, so now seeing a situation clearly. Now this person is feeling emotional and doesn't probably dare to communicate because you know she has so many options. The chariot. Jeez, I'm crow. So the chariot, that is uh, transformation, mastering of emotions, dealing with opposition, moving in a new direction, moving very quickly. We have somebody here that has found the mental strength and the willpower to take control of their lives and, and go in a different direction, away from the lies, away from the fear, away from the shadow, away from the deception. Oh my goodness gracious. This this chariot is is getting in the driver's seat and moving very quickly. Moving fast. Look at that. Somebody is moving very very fast. <laughs> you notice that eight that's what goes around comes around. Now this is like a, when I see the now I don't usually say this with the infinity symbol but everlasting love. That is what the infinite, that's another meaning of the infinity symbol is everlasting love. And that's what the Empress gives is everlasting love. She is basically a mother. Okay. A mother, a mother is everlasting love, right? Um, hmm. Somebody is determined. The chariot is about determination. What is this? Determined. Six of pentacles reversed. A six of pentacles reversed. There's been an injustice. There's been an injustice. There's been a loss. There's been a rejection. Fear, fearful of rejection. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. we Fearful of rejection. So, yeah. We have somebody here that is, is probably... This guy. We have somebody here that wants to apologize, but they are afraid of rejection. Uh, and they don't want to get, you know, but I, when I looked at this, I saw the whip and I was going to say somebody's whipped and they don't want to get whipped to, you know, but I didn't want to say it, but that's what came to my mind was getting whipped. Um, but that, you know, I don't want to be whipped. Well, you know, when you get the, when you get the, uh, the empress, I mean, some is it, it might be, I mean, whatever. Anyhow, um, somebody didn't put in effort. But it looks like now they want to. Now they they want to. Now they want to move forward. Now they now they now they see the light, right? Now they see the light. They see that they uh, made a mistake. I feel like they see that they they gave something to somebody else when they shouldn't have. Eight of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups reversed is pretending to be happy. And this is an apology. It feels like we do have somebody here that is going to be giving an apology. It's like they want to give back now. They want to give back to this beautiful individual who they didn't see their her value in the past. 
and it could be a mother it could be a mother it could be an ex i don't know who it is but whoever it is this person is unconditional love and it and it's the way it is it is the way it is i mean she she is the queen of all queens and this queen of all queens is going to get an apology from somebody she is it could be a child it could be you know an ex somebody is going and it's somebody from the past somebody from the past is coming forward with an apology and it's like they find their willpower and they find their mental strength to do it and it's not easy it's like they make the decision to apologize and they do it they decide to face their fears because this the chariot replaces fear with faith seriously so we do have somebody that is going to replace their fear and they are going to move very quickly and uh, the, and it feels like they they probably know that they better. They probably know that they better because this these this empress has a couple of people that are begging for her attention, and uh, yeah, so they better get their ass in gear. So, um, hero font reversed. Somebody is feeling disgraced. They are feeling disgraced and they have been under a lot of social pressure and they have probably been afraid of commitment, afraid of marriage. Or we have somebody that was being controlled by a father figure. The Hierophant reversed is either fear of commitment or uh, afraid to get married or in a marriage that you're not on the same page. You know, there's a relationship that is not on the same page. This is somebody that is not very spiritual, somebody that doesn't listen to their gut, somebody that listens to society, somebody that is very much under a lot of social pressure to do what the family wants, you know, or whatever, to do what other people think is acceptable. So that is the hair of thought reversed. So we have somebody here that was under a lot of social pressure to do something that was socially acceptable, but it wasn't heartfelt. It didn't fulfill their heart. Okay. So I feel like it was fake. It was superficial. Okay, it was like somebody made a, may have been in a superficial commitment pretending to be happy, you know, because it appeased the family, you know, whatever. And now it's like, you know, I can't do this. I can't do this. I got to do the right thing. It's all about love. It's all about love. So I think we have somebody here that, that is seeing a situation different, differently and they're going to find their... Uh, moral backbone to step forward with some sort of apology even though it's scary as hell there's very much scared of rejection and whether this is an apology or an offer you know it's, it's a gift of some or it's a gift or, or something it's like them and if it's not an ex it could be somebody that is afraid to open their heart it, this could be just somebody that is afraid to open their heart you know emotionally they're afraid of rejections we do have somebody here that is afraid of rejection they see this beautiful opportunity she is beautiful she is the queen of all queens everybody knows it she's sexual she is sensual she is beautiful she is abundant she's a homemaker she is a cook she is she has gardens she has it all okay and she does it all um she is definitely the pick of the litter so i think that um we have somebody here that is definitely fearful of approaching this queen. and um, But I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to do it. They probably feel some sort of connection. Destiny, it's meant to be. It's meant to be, right? That's what the Wheel of Fortune is. It's meant to be. So that the Wheel of Fortune is also good luck, okay? It's a good time. It's, it's time. And it's time to complete that old cycle of fear. Somebody has definitely been in a state of fear. They've been in a state of shadow. They've been in a state of denial. It's like de denying their own truth, you know, because of fear. So, and, and we do have the past here, right? Something from something you did in the past. So like the, somebody has learned something and it's like now they're going to offer their hand. It's like they're going to offer, you know, maybe it's a truce. So that's what I have here. Be prepared to, uh, if this reading is for you. Uh, I feel like we have somebody that is, is going to face their fears and find their ability to step forward down a path that scares the shit out of them. 
and it does require um, opening their heart um, to this woman before somebody else does. Good luck.